Okay, so today we're going to talk about solubility, and I'm still at school right now, so I have a little bit of help from the lovely Miss Dowd. Hey everyone, I'm so excited to learn about solubility today. She's lying. Okay, here we go. No, I really am, because I'm not good at science. But now you're going to be. Exactly, I'm going to know about solubility. Okay, so solubility is the ability of a substance to dissolve in another substance. It's pretty straightforward. We'll do a lab on it tomorrow, so you'll see how it works. But there's a couple key terms you need to know. It's the one that goes in something else. So like the sugar in your coffee. Or in your sweet tea. Or in your sweet tea. Because that's kind of southern. We gotta get rid of them. I always forget. Okay. The other thing you need to know is the solvent, which is the material that does the dissolving. So you're always putting your solute in your solvent. So an example of a solvent would be the water for your Kool-Aid. Ooh. I know, it kind of looks more like Alka-Seltzer. It does, but, but it's red. Same idea. So the water is the solvent. So a solution is what you get when you mix homogeneous mixtures or mixtures that are the same throughout. Um, examples of homogeneous mixture would be like Kool-Aid and coffee like we just saw. Or fruit punch. Fruit she, punch is an example. She had that written on her hands so she wouldn't forget. Okay, as opposed to heterogeneous mixtures in which you can see all the different parts like a Rocky Road cookie or a salad. Or Skittles. Skittles is an example of a heterogeneous mixture. Different parts. You can different colors of the Skittles. You can see Skittles. all the parts. It doesn't mix well. Milk is actually another example of homogenous because it's like, let's say it's white throughout. Oh. I use hand motions when I make these. I don't know why. I do. I, yeah, I got you. Okay, so last couple of vocab words. When a solvent is completely full of a solute, the solution is saturated. So if you can't get any more solute to dissolve, that means the solution is saturated. When more solute can still be added, the oh sorry. When more solute can still be added, the solution is unsaturated. So if I'm adding sugar to water and I'm stirring my water and it's dissolving, that's great. But as soon as the solution becomes saturated, I'm going to see the sugar fall to the bottom of the glass because oh. the water can't fit any more sugar in there. Really? Yes. Oh, I didn't know that. <laughs> so I just okay. learned something Yay. new. Okay, so saturated and unsaturated, solute, solvent, solution. The two types of mixtures. You did it! Yay. You're going to make 100 on your test. That's not until next Thursday.